I am going to talk about another DV. He's bold, he's brash, but most of all, Jalen Ramsey is a big-time talent. In just his second season, the cornerback is a huge reason why Jacksonville is just one step away from the Super Bowl. We sent our favorite former Jag, Maurice Jones-Drew, to Duval to find out how the new kids on the block plan on taking out the Patriots. Go, make plays on three, one, two, three. Make plays. This defense is stifling. There you go. They got me coming all the way from Cali to come talk to you. Oh, here we got a little swagger going on around here. You know, a little stomping ground. So I, I need you to take me all the way back last year, week 11, in Detroit. The cameras caught you visibly <laughs> upset, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a guy that's playing really well during a five-game losing streak. You said something that I felt like changed the whole dynamic of this city and of this team. You remember what you said? Yeah, I said, I, I said I'm tired of losing. Yeah, you hate Where losing, it? right? Yeah. Coming from a program like Florida State, not used to losing. That's hard to handle. That offseason, I felt like Calais came in here because he saw that. I still got some juice in the tank. Barry Church came because he saw that. Yeah, uh, really, we got all the pieces we need to make this thing work. All it took from then was us grinding, us believing in each other, us getting that chemistry right. I mean, the rest is really history of how the seasons went for us and, you know, where we at right now. Empty again for Roethlisberger, dropping the throw. Now he's getting it hit. The ball is out. Delvin Smith picks it up and runs along the right sideline. The 20, the 10, the 5, and it's a touchdown for Jacksonville. But I was in Pittsburgh, brought my boys there to see y'all go ahead and dominate. Let's go! Let's go! Even one of our coaches last week, he came over to the sideline. He was like, y'all dripping in swag. Oh, we having fun yet. You boys looking, your swagger is, is, is dripping. Just dripping. Even for our coach to say that, it's like... You know, we, we are. We dripping in swag out here. We having fun. Jacksonville has defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers. Jacksonville is headed to the American Football Conference Championship. After the game, you guys fly back here, and everyone's out here in the stands. They said it was like 10K people out here, maybe plus. It was dope, man. It was a whole little section filled up. Emotions running high. You know it. And I love what you said. I do, too. We going to the Super Bowl, and we going to win that b You know, I don't regret saying what I said. I mean, maybe, the, maybe the cuss word. He's never a man of just a few words, is he? It's time to go to Foxborough, beat the path next week. You guys going to face Tom Brady. Yeah. What challenges does he present to you, and what are some of the things that you guys are looking to kind of defend against? Uh, you know, I'm glad you used the word challenge because this year we're not looking at it so much as a challenge. We're looking at it as another opportunity. Okay. Like an opportunity to show who we are. Right. Going against the GOAT. We like to believe that defense wins championship games. So we're, we're preparing and grinding as best as we can to hopefully be able to go up there and, and do what we can do. Peterman drops the throw, throws it out to the right side, and picked off by Jalen Ramsey. So the narrative of this game is going to be Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, seven consecutive championships. And then the Jacksonville Jaguars, a lot of young gunners. How does that play out? You know, the pups, they grow into dogs. No, no question. Uh, at one point in time, the new kids in town got to take over. And that's what we're looking to do. It can be ugly. It can be pretty. At the end of the day, that W is all that matters. While well, Ramsey was part of an excellent secondary during the regular season, the Jags DBs held opposing quarterbacks to a passer rating of 68. But last week against Big Ben and the Steelers, a different story as they gave up 462 yards and five touchdowns. So let's get some thoughts from Foxborough on this. Amber Theo Harris, Maurice Jones-Drew, and Willie McGinnis have more on the game. But MJD, I got to say about that interview, I loved that Jalen Ramsey said facing the Patriots is not exactly a challenge but it's an opportunity <laughs> yeah you know in Jacksonville calling they, they believe that it's an opportunity to show how great they can be you know you're going against the goat the greatest of all time probably arguably the greatest person to play this game uh, and they feel like it's a chance to showcase what they can do on a national stage and they're excited for the opportunity yeah but Jalen Ramsey's coming in talking more smack than Joe Namath in Super Bowl three <laughs> and the difference between him and Joe Namath is that Joe was actually going to the Super Bowl they haven't even won the AFC championship yet because they're going up against Tom Brady um, he's part of that number one pass yeah. defense but we have
have the number one passer in the league right now. How do you expect this Jags defense, Willie, to, to defend Tom Brady? Well, first of all, I like the kid. I like Jalen Ramsey. He's one of my favorite players in the league, and I love the way he's confident about, you know, his team. And we, we had that same mentality. But the thing is, you just don't say it. You just focus. <laughs> you, you ball that in, and then when game time, that's when you let it out. Now, the, the thing that's so unique about them is he has the luxury of a great front four, a great front seven. So it allows him to gamble and, and do a little more on the back end, especially when they go in certain coverage because he knows the quarterback's not going to have a lot of time to sit back there and throw the ball. Mm -hmm. And their linebackers can cover well. So when when you throw different things at him, it allows him to gamble. And, and, and you know what? He's so aggressive. He is unique in his style, the way he covers. He's tall. He's rangy. He has a, a great vertical. And he has great ball skills. So, you know, this defense presents a problem because it, it kind of resembles some of the defense that's gave the Patriots problems in the past. Yeah, like the 2015 Broncos. We also saw the Seahawks in 2013. The Giants. The Giants. Which they kind of got a guy Super upstairs Bowls. that knows a little bit of some about playing against the Ex Patriots. Exactly. But um, you, you've seen Tom Brady. Brady faced similar kind of schemes before, and what do you expect? How do, how will Tom attack? Well, uh, you go back to the Los Angeles Chargers, and I think that's where it kind of kicks in, where Gus Bradley has run the similar defense that he built in Jacksonville, and James White, Re Rex Burkhead, Deion Lewis, those guys made hay, and they did a great job. So you have to, as linebackers, and Willie, you know this, open field tackling. You have to get those ball carriers down, otherwise they're going to run for 50, 60 yards after catch. And here's the thing, they know where Jacksonville's going to try and attack. They know where Ramsey's going to be. So if you take away something, you gotta, they're going to have to win the one-on-one -on -one matchups and they're going to have to win somewhere else. So expect other guys to be used as the, the carrot. They're going to take that away, but somebody else is going to get attacked. No question. All right, well, this is going to be one heck of a matchup. Tom Brady uh, now in his seventh straight AFC championship game, and Willie says the hand's not going to be an issue. Not that he's a doctor. He just thinks defenses aren't going to change the way. Here we go. He Dr. just thinks Here defenses aren't going to change the way they attack <laughs> attack him. Yeah, he's a reporter now. Oh, thank you, guys. We'll see if Jalen Ramsey's prediction becomes one step closer to actually coming true in this game today.